So hurdles this time in, two and a half miles. And the top one is Muffrage Wisdom for Alex Cherry, Dream Express, Darren Howes, Taminkle Re, Derek Hinton, Wishful Thinking Hems, Alley France and Pride Rock for Leon Van Rensburg, Beach Bum and Come What May for Graham Clutterbuck, Green Flash for C. Betwith, Fajura Delicia for Davy Ladd, I'm Listening Jewel, Derek Hinton, Polar Mare for Hems, Outdoor Holly for John and Three White Socks for Martin Leadham. So, some really interesting names again. I presume these are all just computer generated names as they race away. Quite a few of them are anyway, I think, because they're all a bit odd. Anyway, they race towards the first of the flights of hurdles, of which there'll be ten. It's Taminkle Re who's the leader. And Derek Hinton still seems to be breathing front runners, doesn't he, as they take that on. And he's also got the back marker arm listing jewel, which was a one that was down on his nose at the first flight, but recovered from it okay. And it's Taminkle Re and three white socks who dispute the lead as they come down towards the second of the ten flights then past that ambulance over these hurdles it's looked pretty small and they'll be passing the stand before too long and the winning post be trapped on cast of 15 furlongs around and Taminkle rears the leader from three white socks in second then a little bit of a gap to Dream Express and Muffrage Wisdom as they take the third that'll be the last next time round they're all still on their feet in that little thing looks like a temporary stand over there, doesn't it? They pass the winning post. Swing left handed for a complete circuit, then. And the leader is Taminkle Re from three white socks in second. It appears to me to have four white socks, so they're rather stupidly named. Sort of trainer calls a horse three white socks when it's got four white socks. Well, the answer to that is it's me, and I didn't know that at the time, and it was not named by me anyway, it was computer generated. So there we go. Taminkle Re is the leader then as they take number four. And there's a four at the back there. Green Flash has gone. It was more of an unseated rider. You don't see that many unseated riders in hurdle races in real life. But they seem to be two to four in the SO series rather than fours. And Taminkle Re is the leader over the fifth. From three white socks. Muffrage Wisdom. Going up on the outside of that one has to his Dream Express, then Outdoor Holly is after that one, and then Pride Rock and Alley France, and then Wishful Thinking. Fajura Delicia is after that one, and Come What May. And Clutterbox seems to have hijacked Molly at Surface Silks as they skip over number six. And Polar Mare is the back marker. And it's Taminkle Reeves led all the way so far. Three White Sox has got back up in a second on the inside, then Outdoor Holly, and Dream Express after that one with Muffrage Wisdom, Wishful Thinking. They filled a pretty tightly packed. One thing I have noticed on these SO7 races is that horses do seem to be running a little bit better sort of racing pack than they were on SO6. They're still a little bit too wide on the track sometimes, but they are running in better clumps, for want of a better word, than they did in the last version. And Taminkle Re leads by a length to so Outdoor Holly in second. Three white socks in the purple jacket is third as they skip over number seven. Leaves them just three more flights to take. The three that are struggling out the back are Beach Bomb, I'm listening Jewel and Polar Mare. The one that's out of the race is Green Flash, but carried on regardless at the back, chasing them round for fun. As they get down towards the business end of the race, then a Taminkle Re is in the lead. Muffrage Wisdom looks to be going well. Also creeping up there on the inside is Outdoor Holly. Three white socks has dropped right out of it. But it's Taminkle Re in the lead from Muffrage Wisdom on the outside. Then Outdoor Holly and Alley France. Then Fajura Delicia is next. And Pride Rock on what may try to get into it on the inside as well. As they make their way towards this third, third last flight then. Uh, Taminkle Re. Three quarters of a length in the lead. To Muffrage Wisdom in second. Then in third, Outdoor Holly. Alley France is now trying to get into it. Fajorca Delicia also getting into it as well now. And as they come down finally to this third last flight of hurdles, and suddenly Fajura Delicia looks to be going best of all on the outside, being chased by Pride Rock as they take that third last. And Fajura Delicia is now in front from Pride Rock in second to Minkle Re trying to battle on still. So to Muffrage Wisdom, come what may, looks to have a double handful, but doesn't look doesn't much room to go, go through with his challenge at the moment. But it's Fajura Delicia down towards the second last flight 
over in the lead. Better jump by Pride Rock. Pride Rock on the outside of Fujura Delicia. Being chased by Mufraj Wisdom and Tamin Kul Reed. But it's Fujura Delicia and Pride Rock as they come to the final flight then. It's Fujura Delicia on the inside. They're both being hard ridden as they race inside the final flight. And this is the final flight. And now it's Pride Rock in the lead. Pride Rock lands in front from Fujura Delicia. Come what may. He's trying to get into it. Mufraj Wisdom but it's still Pride Rock. Pride Rock now begins to pull away. And up towards the line. This is going to be another one for Leon Van Rensburg. Pride Rock's going to take it. Pride Rock's going to then come what may for Jordan this year. Polar Mare finished really well. Three white socks was last. And Green Flash was the only one that didn't finish. And looks like Leon Van Rensburg might have cracked this one. And he's got his jumpers and his flat horses going already. And he's taken that one. It's Pride Rock for Leon Van Rensburg, the winner for Jura Delicia for Davy Lad. That's David Robertson, I think, second. Come what may for Graham Clutterbuck, ran well to be third. Mufraj Wisdom for Alex Cherry, ran on him fourth. And Polar Mare for Hems finished really well after being right out of the back.